Tonight on The Vanished, grandparents are searching for answers in the disappearance of their grandson. It's been almost six months since Derek Smith disappeared. In August, the 34-year-old left home in his van after midnight. As of today, family members tell us authorities located that van at Glenwood Baptist Church in Powell. 10 News reporter Caitlin Keenahan joins us. Derek's still nowhere to be found. Caitlin. Yeah, John, thank you. Derek Smith valued his family time, but since being reported missing, he didn't come home for Thanksgiving or Christmas or New Year's and family members feel something is wrong. They're asking you for your help to bring him home. Outside, Derek's picture is publicly posted around town. All kinds of places. Inside, this grandma can't stop looking at personal memories. Left and never did come back and we've looked everywhere. Growing up, he was a happy kid. It wasn't until a car crash in 08 that things for Derek changed. That's when the drug problem started. After this surgery, cause they give him lots of opiates. Rita says her grandson's prescriptions escalated to addictions and addiction related crimes triggered time behind bars. And when he's not on drugs, you couldn't ask for a better person. When he's on drugs, he's like the headache and the heartache that I'm sure everybody goes through that's got kids. But despite the circumstances, this grandma says her grandson always came home until the night of August 20th. He didn't. We went to the Pine House, went in, going to have a beer or two, shoot a game of pool. Derek's Uncle Billy was the last person to see him. They went to the bars together. When Billy left, Derek kept going. He's like, well, well, I, I'm going out. And he left in his van. But it's the 2005 Dodge Caravan. Rita says Derek's van was found here at Glenwood Baptist Church in Powell, just a few miles from their home. Rita printed Derek's bank statement. The last transaction was just hours after leaving Billy's house. It was at a Casey's general store on Merchants Road. But since then, no spending. All they can do is search the land for clues, hang more posters like this one, and pray. It's hard on everybody just trying to really figure out. And I know Papa would every day he's going, when's he coming home? When's that boy coming home? If you have any information that could help this family locate their loved one, please contact the Knox County Sheriff's Office. Any tips? are very helpful. John? Yeah, we hope they get some answers. Caitlin, thank you.